It is finally time to talk about Miss Universe Philippines preliminary evening gown competition. My name is Danny Walker. Thank you for joining me for this episode. If you enjoy content like this, please consider subscribing and hitting the notifications bell. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can also hit that super thanks button or join memberships. Here are my most memorable performances in no particular order. Baguio, wow, great color on her. Oh my gosh, she really, really popped against the background. It worked so well for her. I will say that the fit of the dress can be improved. Uh, it looks like they could have taken out some more fabric on the sides. It was kind of sticking out. And the bust did look like a little big on her, but she was she was stunning. What really matters is the performance, the performance, the facials. Oh gosh, it, it really is there. She is one of my you know top favorite contestants this year she just does such an excellent job i was thinking though i would also like this look even with her hair down i think that would be a great look as well Ilo Ilo City, similar to the dress that she won in for her province, we're seeing a lot of stomach here and why not? She has those abs, right? Like that works for her. Beautiful open back. Oh my gosh, her back muscles are incredible. So, so beautiful. And her skin, her skin just glows, absolutely glows. So I just feel like she needs to relax the hands a little bit for her evening gown performance and focus a little bit more on the eye contact with the camera. She was missing a lot of that as she was walking back down the runway. She could have turned her head to the right and really locked eyes with the camera. So that's something she can change up for finals. Baka or so a lot of people were talking about this look. Okay, so here's my take on this evening gown. I like the gown. I feel like she just looks like kind of like this. People were saying mermaid. I almost kind of felt like ice princess because of the fringe beading. Like, oh, icicles are my me of being on the frozen ride at Disney World and I love it I love that ride it's one of my favorites anyways so the front of it the bust I do wish that the shape of the bust I like the concept I think it's really cool but it what it immediately drew my eye to the bust versus really looking at her so it was a little distracting for me I hope she does change her finals but either way love the makeup for this I do wish she would let the hair down right people were saying mermaid hair just let it down let it flow maybe she'll do that for finals i don't know i don't know i don't know if we'll be seeing a different gown this one was really great she did a fantastic job with this but subtle changes Wandawe. i love this gown i love this gown and i just realized what it reminds me of it reminds me of ballroom dresses that's what it is oh my goodness that's why i like it wow okay it's a lot of the ballroom dresses they are connected at the hands like that so obviously you can you can dance in them right you can do the waltz beautiful love the gown i do however wish though because it's a pageant why not that she had some just like beautiful orange rhinestones going up to the neck yeah i would i would have loved that i also wish that the gown would have had an invisible zipper in the back but you know what she's making it work she worked this she worked it Yes, we can make subtle changes, but overall, she stood out. Cabanatuan. So I really loved her. She was so gorgeous, but I just don't feel like this gown was doing her any favors. I am trying to really focus on just the performance, but gowns can really help you. I just don't feel like this did anything for her figure. There was just some kind of like, you know, bunching on the fabric a little bit. Uh, the gown color also wasn't really standing out, but I, st but I still loved her. NorCal. Oh my gosh, just look at her waist in this dress. Wow. Okay. So let me say, didn't love the color. It just it not it's not terrible. She looks stunning in it. I actually love the little detail on the side of the sleeve that was happening. Loved it. She looked great. She looked stunning actually. The dress did not look easy to walk in, and I feel like that's important because you want to be able to really move comfortably because then you you have lots of freedom, right? On stage. I will say that this performance for me was better than her swimsuit performance. And I just, I do wish that she comes out with something different for finals because she was so beautiful. Bacolar, okay, all right, wow. We had this beautiful, slow opening. She looks so gorgeous here. Really, really incredible gown as well. Wonderful choice, oh my gosh. And just like her facials, she just doesn't miss. And the highlight, <gasps> the highlight on those cheeks. <gasps> I love this. She was a standout, a, a great standout of the night. Kainta, so gosh, I really do wish that there would have been some different styling for this. I feel like there's time to change things up. For me, it was the fact that she had a red lip, that the pearls were quite yellow, and then we had this pewter color of silver that was on her. So that was all really clashing for me, and so that was just like hard for me in the moment to kind of get over. But 
I will say, as always, gorgeous on camera. And honestly, she did have a really, really wonderful performance here. So, uh, you, you know, that's just something that I noticed. I wanted something to just make a lot more sense in terms of the styling, have a little bit more cohesion, but she looked beautiful. And you know what? Could change for finals. Plastic. Okay, so this evening gown, very sexy, okay? And she has the body for it, all right? Really, really was. But I did feel like I wanted to see something just a little bit more unique on her, something a little different. Um, I do feel like she needed something else at the end of the runway, just more creative posing there. Just give me more. And of course, uh, you know, bring up the energy a little bit. She is just so stunning, but I feel like if you don't bring up that energy, she'll get lost in the mix. Kamegan's gown. So this gown, unfortunately, it was a little bit difficult for her to walk in, and I do feel like it, it did affect her performance, but tell me, is that gown modeled after the same bird that Rabia's gown was modeled after in Miss Universe 2020? Is that this? And I don't, I don't know how to say, is that correct? Is that when I'm, I hope I'm remembering that correctly. I feel like it was her finals gown, the orange gown, right? Or am I thinking of somebody's national costume? I'm not sure, but somebody please tell me the meaning behind the birds on Kamegan's dress because absolutely gorgeous. Loved it. Um, I didn't, however, feel like she needed to do the arms thing because she wasn't wearing a cape, so it really didn't add anything to the performance, that part of it, for me. Naik. This skirt was very Zuleika, all right? It was giving me Zuleika, but in black instead of chains. So her gown choice was interesting because she kind of had these gloves, these sheer gloves, which actually we saw quite a few sheer gloves, but hers, because they were, it was so sparse towards the elbow, it just looked like she was wearing little itty bitty gloves on her hands. Uh, but I will say, gosh, she always nails the facials. She really, really does. She does. Uh, I almost though wish that the bottom of the gown had either looked completely nude, like make it more sheer, or maybe just do like black fabric that's sheer. I think that would have looked better on stage, honestly. Australia was so pretty. This entire performance was so smooth. Honestly, if this year's competition doesn't work out for her, I really hope that she will consider competing in Australia. I think that'd be awesome. You know how I feel about green gowns. It's so rare. It's so rare to see one that I really love. And I love this one. I love this one on her. Oh my gosh, this dress. The fit was perfect. Fabulous on her. The tone of green, fabulous on her, and the hair and the makeup, all of it, the performance, she really shined here. She really earned some big points with me. Dava region, I loved this. I know so many people are probably gonna be quite split on this gown, okay, but I thought this was the coolest dress. I love the traditional fabric. I love the fact that she wore this blazer over it, and did you notice? that there was a piece of fabric that went down the back that actually connected the skirt to the blazer. So she couldn't remove it. She couldn't fully remove it. But this was so cool. The hair was perfect with it. I love it. What a great way to stand out. This and this performance, the way that she worked it, very memorable. Takloban, amazing, amazing look, amazing gown, just Nice center pose, the little over the shoulder side look, the suspense, the back pose, the gown, the hair, the makeup, all of it, all of it. Wow, wow, she is showing up. Hawaii to me had a solid performance, absolutely solid, okay? So this gown was great on her. Red seemed to be the color of the year. Oh my goodness, was there a red memo? Everybody was wearing it, but this dress was beautiful, beautifully made. It was very sexy. Uh, she. She just looked great, and now we understand why she wore the red lip, right? The one she had for swim. But for finals, I would try to switch that up, if you can. Talisa City, so we gotta talk about her. This gown reminds me of one that we saw Cardi B wear on a red carpet, and I cannot right now off the top of my head remember the name of the designer. I wanna say that they start with a G, if I can recall, but this was such a cool gown. It had this hood element, it had this reveal. The shapes were interesting. It was just so cool. She just did such a great job carrying this evening gown, and I, I loved it. Laguna, really, really beautiful color on her. Oh my good goodness. I will say this performance though, because there were some others that were just like, wow, like super memorable. Uh, because of that, this ended up being a little bit middle of the road for me, but I will say this to me was stronger than her swimsuit performance because she softened out the facials. Bulacan, there was something about this look. It was kind of giving me Miss Netherlands 2014, probably because of the color, but kind of because of the shape of the dress, kind of giving me those vibes. I know, like, it's not the same look, I understand, but, you know, kind of reminded me of that. 
but I mean, I loved her. I loved her. She's giving Naomi. She is stunning. I do, however, wish though that they would have used a chiffon that was not as dense. They need a lighter weight fabric because then the dress would have flowed like Miss Universe Vietnam at Miss Universe 2018. That, that would have been something to see on stage. I'm telling you. Oh gosh, she needed that. She needed that. Without that flow, there's just a lot to the gown. And I do feel like she could she could go with something different different for finals. Marivella's, so this gown, all right, so I don't hate the gown. I just don't love the hem. That's what it is. The rest of the dress though did look fantastic on her and oh my gosh, it made her look like she was 10 feet tall. Okay, 10 feet tall. Really caught my eye, really caught my attention, but really what matters is the performance and I liked it. She was elegant, she took her time, she was beautiful. United Kingdom really, really went for elegance here. Wow, wow, wow. This was fantastic, truly looking like a queen. Love the styling choices. Just don't forget for that top five, don't mention esteemed queen, switch it up for us, switch it up. We've heard it a lot for interview and for her video, so I just wanna see something, well, hear something new from her for that if she does make it to a top five. Palawan, wow, 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 so unique. The hair was perfect with this, she just had elegant, energy that's the best way i feel like i can describe this my points for her for gown gosh they just shot right up and what a fantastic ending pose this was so well practiced we can we can all learn from this one to gig okay i did not expect this gown and i would love to see a change for finals not to say she didn't look gorgeous but i also need to really compliment whoever designed this because there was like not a pucker on those seams and with that type of fabric, that is hard to do. The fit of this gown, wow, I really, really was impressed. So very simple style, kind of cool cutouts, just not much going on. She was really carrying the gown. Honestly, she doesn't need that much. She's so tall. She's stunning. But I, but I still do want to say something else for crowning. She, but regardless, she did such an excellent job here. Top pick. Kazan Province, so big fan favorite, but I was very surprised with the evening gown choice. I really do hope that she changes it for finals. Not a bad choice, right? Like, honestly, these gowns are all stunning, but but I just feel like it was such a safe choice for her, and I wanted to see something different. And of course, once again, I talked about this in my swim episode, I do want to see the hairstyle change for finals as well. But she did have a really nice ending pivot turn, and I just wanted, I wanted to relax a little bit more on stage. Just breathe. Don't let that pressure get to you. Okay, SoCal. Okay, so gorgeous, gorgeous gown, and she really came out, made the entrance with the cape. She's left it there, though. She's left it out in the middle of the stage, and luckily some somebody came in and picked it up for her. But she was really, she was working it. She was working for it. I love the effort. That, that she's putting in. I just, gosh, she looked perfect in that gown. The color was unique. We, we saw, or at least I can recall, two memorable purple gowns from this competition. And she just, she just looked fantastic. I loved it. So smooth. She's so consistent. Zimbales. What a way to close the preliminary gown competition. Wow. Wow, this gown. Okay, so obviously she's known for her waist. This gown accentuated it even more. She really leaned into that, but the performance. The one thing I would change about the gown is the stone on the butt though. I didn't understand that part of it. I liked everything else. I am absolutely obsessed. She can wear this gown into finals. I would be happy. She could bring this look back to us. I, I'm. This was a moment. She was the moment of the evening. She really was. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode. I hope that you loved it. Please check out my other coverage of Miss Universe Philippines if you enjoyed this episode. I will link them right up here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining, and I really hope that you'll come back very soon. And if there's anything you wanna see on the channel, don't forget to leave your requests in the comments. I look forward to reading those.